everybody. You're watching Dance Junkies TV. I'm Stuart Brazel, joined by the fabulous Elena Grenenko. Hello. So we're doing something fun, something new. It's called Let's Talk Technique. Yeah, we'll break it down for you what it is that their judges are talking about. Do they really know what they're talking about? Well, we're going to find out once we talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, since we have Elena here and she's an incredibly talented well, thank you. pro who knows her stuff, might as well use her. So you can always tweet Elena at Elena Grenenko. She's here to answer questions. And you're good because I always see you. You get back to everybody. I, I do try. I try very hard to answer all my Twitters. Yep. And then, of course, we have new videos every Monday and Thursday on our Dance Junkies TV YouTube. So be sure to subscribe and always visit us because we're busy. We're filming. We're putting stuff up. <laughs> I love it. Well, we're going to get to some technique talk. So we're going to start with our first couple, Catherine and Mark. Let's see what the judges have to say. I'm in an exceptionally good mood tonight, Mark, and I could easily, I could easily go the other way of regarding this because for me there wasn't quite enough dancing in ballroom hold. It was, it, it's the truth, four bars or five bars, Mark. All right, so coming back from that one, Elena, what are your thoughts? So my thoughts afterward, after watching and actually uh, um, hearing Len talking about it, I took my time and I actually timed how much they were dancing in the close hold and open hold and it only took 12 seconds out of a minute 15 dance. That's way too much for the open hold. We have two styles of dancing. We have an international standard where hold is never getting broken and we have American smooth where you allow to have this nice positions with the hands and all of those things but for that we still require to get back into the hold and we at least try to do like I don't know 30 40 percent of it in the close hold. So would that, that, that have even been that sort of number would that have even been able to score in a regular competition? You know it really depends because as a judge you don't like watch the couple the whole yeah. entire competition but that's not preferable so that was way too much of an open hold although her dancing was beautiful his comment is absolutely legit. So, two thumbs up for Lynn. Yes, it is. <laughs> nice. All right, our next couple, Gladys and Tristan. Yes. Let's see what the judges had to say about them. Quick step, you've got to stay in the frame. You've got to keep that posture. This week, I noticed your frame was a little out of whack. I saw the improvement. So, frame, that's always a big one. How was their frame? Do you agree? I agree. If you watch her quick step, her frame is constantly wiggling and it's moving and it's very, very low. And if you actually watch her next week, which she danced Foxtrot on, you can see a huge, huge improvement. Mm -hmm. Her frame is much higher. It is much nicer and much bigger. And that's why... And she said, she was like, I'm going to work on my frame. Yes. And she kept on talking about it. She knew. Well, because there are a few judges that commented on the same thing. Yeah. When you get those the same comments, you definitely want to improve it. And I think they did a fabulous job by working on her frame. But I mean, when you have these quick steps and you are moving so fast down below, it's, I mean, I would imagine it would be very hard to be locked to someone the whole time It is, like that. it is, because you're jumping, 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 yeah. and people hands somehow get attached to their feet. It's very weird for a dancer, but they do. <laughs> so you do not want your feet and your elbows yeah. move at the I same would time. see me just being like on Dance with the Stars and just headbutting someone. Be like, whoops! <laughs> Sorry. No, but uh, she did a great job coming out of it next week. So hopefully she'll continue improving, yeah. and I'd be great for her. Awesome. Well, next we have Gavin and Karina. Let's see what the judges thought. It's so slow. Every detail is shown, and yes. I tell you what I saw. I saw good hips. Yeah. I saw more musicality through your arm. Hip action. How was it? The hip action, Karina did a fabulous job doing a hip action. <laughs> the good thing that Gavin was with her so much that he was actually trying so hard. Yes, you could tell was in his face. He was cute, but I think she covered it up so great for him that it actually appeared that he did a fabulous hip action. But if you watch that video, look at her pretty much. That's all you want to see. That's how the hips supposed to move. I do give him two giant gold stars because he was really working his hands. He was like, I would watch him like doing like the wrists and everything. I was like, go Gavin. Yeah, I know. The performance was very cute. Yeah. The carry hand, well, all bubbly for him. It was so But cute. I also think, and I mean, you tell me being a female pro on the show, yeah. 
I noticed that it's easier for the female pros if their guy can't dance, you can dance around them and make it look so much better than if a guy has a girl that can't dance. Yes. There's only so much you can do. I honestly truly believe that it's harder for females, whether they're a celebrity or a pro dancer, to be on the show. If you're a pro dancer, you have to do way more choreography around your guy and cover up a lot of things they can't lead. Mm -hmm. If you are celebrity female, it's very hard to compete with all those pro girls. The look, the body, and how they move, and the costumes. Yeah. It shows off so much of your legs. I mean, and even it, William Levy, and we're all looking at him, but we're looking at Cheryl a lot too, and that's, you know. <laughs> but it is, you tend to watch the girl. Yes, yes, because the whole lead and follow is about leading the girl and displaying the girl. Mm -hmm. And yes, most of the people do look at the girls, so. All right, well, speaking of more girls, our next couple is Donald and Peta. Let's take a look. Even if you had a little bit of a turned in toe and there was a few little lifts there, I'm not calling lifts tonight, by the way. Okay, so thoughts on his toes. They were pointing inward. Uh, you could just take a look at that picture and you could see that the toes are completely in. And it's called pigeon toed. Yes, pigeon toes. And it's a big, big no no in Latin. You know, we always try to be a turned out. And I think it's a big no-no in all forms of dance, too. You it's know, it's some even water, I think, you kind of can go inside yeah. and improvise. But in Latin, Usually absolutely not. Out, yeah. yeah. So that's a no-no. Uh, good call, Perian, on that one. But, however, lifts? Lifts is a big one. There is a war going on with the lift situation through many, many seasons with Carrie Ann calling all the lifts. So we're going to take a look at the, that lift that is going on right now. And even if there is a little bit fall going on, in my honest opinion, as a ballroom dancer, there is no lift happening there. So I'm going to read you uh, in DCA, which is a professional organization, comment. A lift is a movement during which one of the dancers has both feet off the floor at the same time with the assistance or support of their partner. So she, I was absolutely not lifted. If yeah. her foot got a little bit off the floor for a switch, like split second, uh, no, I'm sorry, Carrie Ann, that was not a lift. Whoopsie, and there was a little bit, you know, we were looking back at some things that happened with Tony and Carrie Ann because they had a little bit of a brawl yes. back in that 2007 and he made a comment that the judges watched the rehearsals and they're building their notes from the rehearsals. What are your thoughts on that? You know what, I'm not sure if they do it from the rehearsals or not, but I can confirm the whole story with Tony because he did print out the NDCA book rule and this is exactly where I'm reading it from. <laughs> Ooh, Tony! Ooh Everybody's getting beats with Carrie Ann, what? I love it. All right, well now let's move on to my favorite, as if I haven't declared it enough on this show. William, I love you. Oh, let's, let's see what the judges the thought. <laughs> Can you come closer, please? Oh, God. <laughs> Careful, man. Careful. <laughs> I hate you. You are ridiculous. That was ridiculously hot. OK. Hot. Even fully clothed, you have the ability to dazzle. William, you know how to turn the heat up in this bottle. I've never seen anything like this before. I'm sorry, but he can shake his tail feathers. Like, he has good hip action. Yeah, but do you see all the comments about hot that, hot that, oh my god, I hate you, hot that, hot that. What about dancing? And Is he it? even knew it too, because when he went into the confessional later, he was like waiting for Bruno to basically give him a 10 because he's hot. <laughs> well, I do want to actually talk about but he his is dancing. Hot. <laughs> yes, he is a very good looking man, but it's still about the dancing. And I actually want to talk about his quick step versus his hot, hot, hot Latin, simply because that idea, I think he did an amazing job doing it. His frame is very, very good. His movement is very, very progressive. I can give him all 10 on that quick step. I think that was fabulous. Not because he was hot, because it was done well. Because he can dance. The boy can dance. Yeah, you know. So we actually have another picture on William, which we want you to look at and see what you think about the technique. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Don't you think it's a better match? I think his abs are flexing at the exact position that they should be. I see really good ab form. Are you seeing anything else there? Anything you notice? It's no. me! <laughs> I didn't even notice! Oh my god, that's awesome! Surprise, surprise! Look at my form! I'm, I'm telling you, it's the best technical what, picture and that we have today. And what does it look like I'm looking at on him? 
she completely missed that it was her. So I guess on that note, we're gonna say goodbye because Stuart is so super everyone, happy right if now. If you wanna go for <laughs> William and Stuart, you need to call 1 800 868 3408. And William, if you're watching, I'll give you my personal cell. Oh, I love that. That made my day. That made my life. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any dances that you'd like Elena to break down or any sort of technical questions, you can always tweet her at Elena Grinenko and, of course, at Dance Junkies TV. I'm Stuart Brazel. You can tweet me, too. Hit us up on YouTube Mondays and Thursdays. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Elena. That was thank really... You. I feel thank very you. informed. <laughs> and I'm floating on air. Love Bye. you, guys. Bye.